One way that I've been looking forward to the end of this is by trying to imagine all of the places that I'm going to visit, especially the ones that I've taken for granted. So in no particular order, I'm gonna be sharing the first 10 places I'm gonna visit after the crisis is over. Guys, make sure to tell me down below in the comments the places that you're gonna visit first as well. I'm curious, here we go. Now, I know what you're thinking, where is Bleecker Street Pizza on this list? And believe me, I'm gonna visit them as well, but I've been going to them quite frequently, and I've just been salivating over this traditional Neapolitan pizza for a while. I envision going to a nice dinner here, accompanied by a glass of red wine, and just feeling normal again. We filmed here a few months ago, and the simplicity and commitment to fresh and healthy ingredients has truly gained gained my respect, and of course, their margarita pie is absolutely delicious. We even confirmed it with my friend Mary Jane, an Italian, that this was the most authentic Neapolitan pie she ever tried in New York City. And as a bonus, I actually had a trip to Italy canceled due to this global crisis in March. So to me, it would be a nice feeling of trying to travel to Italy while still being in New York and still supporting a local business at the same time. I cannot wait to get back to Rabalta for one of those amazing Neapolitan pies. I haven't given Roosevelt Island enough love on this channel, and I really haven't taken the tram to Roosevelt Island in too long. It's one of those places that I definitely took for granted. I imagine boarding the tram when social distancing doesn't matter anymore because you really are packed in pretty tight like a rush hour subway. And it's definitely one of the most unique views you can access in New York. I'll take lots of photos and then stroll around Roosevelt Island admiring the views of the Manhattan skyline. I'll walk the length of it till I get to the lighthouse at the northern tip and for the cost of a Metro card swipe, you can visit this little peaceful oasis in New York City, and that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. You can also bring some food with you, you know, set up a little picnic. Roosevelt Island is one of those places you can't go wrong, and it's usually not very crowded at all. The Peak is a new restaurant that hasn't actually opened to the public because of everything that occurred. And if you saw my video about the grand opening of The Edge at Hudson Yards, you'll know why I'm so excited about eating at The Peak. So it's located 101 floors above the city. And as you saw in the video, we had the chance to go to the grand opening of The Edge. And I was really impressed by New York's newest tourist attraction. I mean, I think it makes Hudson Yards a very interesting stop for travelers now because in addition to having the vessel, you have the edge and you have the peak, but nobody knows when the edge or peak are gonna reopen. And I wanna get back up there during the nighttime, specifically around sunset. Then I wanna go to the restaurant for dinner to enjoy the views and eat something fancy, which I hardly ever do, but I suppose we'll have plenty of reason to celebrate at that point. And what better place to celebrate than at one of the highest views you can get at a restaurant in the Western Hemisphere. So I am really excited to try out their food. I don't even know what they serve, but I'm gonna be there. When everything is well in New York City, Will the first place I go to celebrate be a rooftop bar? No. How about a speakeasy cocktail bar? Tempting and I'll go eventually, but not the first place I'd stop by. Peculiar Pub is actually the first bar that I wanna to go to. So this is my favorite dive bar in Greenwich Village. Shout out to my friend, The Traveling Clat, letting me use some clips from his Greenwich Village guide to show you the exterior. I love traveling and they have an insane selection of international beers, over 350 craft beers on tap. 
So if I wanna drink a beer from Russia, the Philippines, Mexico, Peru, no problem. For some reason, I always order the Einstock white ale from this place. It's Icelandic, I've only been to Iceland once. I have no idea why I like the beer so much but it'll feel like I'm traveling again, sampling craft beer from different countries until it's actually safe to leave the United States, to keep traveling. And I also like the low key atmosphere of the bar. It's a good spot to bring friends. It's not too crazy. Usually doesn't get too crowded. So you can bet that I'm gonna be there when bars reopen just to feel like I'm doing a normal thing on a weekend again. I'm putting the whole neighborhood of Jackson Heights, Queens on alert. I'm gonna eat everything in sight. It is my favorite spot to pig out in New York City. We've made quite a few videos about this area. I think the Bengali Fushka food truck, which I haven't returned to since I filmed there, would be my first stop. And this could be one of the best vegetarian food trucks I've ever eaten at. You've gotta try it yourself. Lhasa Fast Food is another great one. It's hidden behind a cell phone store and it is an epic place to eat Tibetan momos, which are basically dumplings filled with different things like beef and they are extremely savory. Then I'll walk to the Birialandia taco cart and eat Birria tacos with consomme. And finally, I think I'm gonna try to find the late night Al Pastor guy, if I can make it to Elmhurst, if I have any energy left after picking out like crazy, these are my favorite tacos in all of New York City. And I plan on revisiting all of these places with no cameras and an empty stomach. It is going to be a thing of beauty. I wanna give a quick shout out to all of my patrons out there for supporting this channel, even right now during these tough times. Because of them, I've been able to pay for activities and different food that I've reviewed on this channel. If you're curious about my Patreon, see the link down below in the description. Special shout out to them once again. We just did a whole episode about Dumbo on the channel and because I'm not taking the subways right now, I don't have any other way to access it. But is there any spot more scenic in the entire city than those views overlooking the Manhattan skyline? I mentioned pizza before in the video and Juliana's is definitely my top five in the city for a New York style pie. Although I imagine they'll be pretty busy after this is over. And there's something so charming about a neighborhood where it seems that around every corner is a postcard moment. But from the street art to the little shops, this would be an amazing place to spend a post-lockdown day. And there won't be a ton of tourists out at first, so I may finally be able to get that cool shot with nobody in the background. This should be on your list no matter what, but it would feel extra special considering all the things that everybody has gone through so far. If you haven't noticed, almost all of my picks have been outdoor activities where social distancing really won't be a consideration anymore. And Fort Tryon Park is one of the most underrated parks in all of Manhattan. Located uptown right along the Hudson River, on a nice day, you've got great views of the George Washington Bridge. But it also feels so far removed from the big city vibes, and it's the perfect place to just relax or throw a frisbee around. I also wanna go inside the cloisters for the first time in a while. It's one of New York's top museums that not enough people know about, and it's basically inside of a castle. If I have extra time, I'm gonna stop by Washington Heights after to eat some delicious Dominican food, or maybe I'll try to find some mofungo from Puerto Rico if I'm lucky. I could make a whole day out of this adventure. Even though I included footage of the Tenement Museum on my Lower East Side guide, which they graciously provided for me, I've actually never been on a formal tour and that needs to change. I don't think one can truly appreciate New York unless they learn about the city's history. And the history of New York City is all about immigration from Jews to Irish, Italians, Chinese, many more. I wanna see how they lived, how they ate, and how they survived 
in tiny quarters that make my apartment look huge. I'm finally gonna make visiting the Tenement Museum a priority after this is all over, and who knows, maybe I'll even make an entire video about it. There's plenty of space for picnics, although Sheep's Meadow would put us closer to a lot of other people and make it feel like a regular day in the city. Of course, Central Park has so much going on anyway. The Botanical Garden, the lakes, the hidden waterfalls. Maybe we'll go fishing again at the top part of the park. You really can't go wrong doing anything at the most visited urban park in the United States, and I can't wait to enjoy it again when there's a lot of people around and it has that energy that I'm used to seeing out of it. I cannot wait for Broadway to reopen. I live in the city and I maybe go to one show a year. Perhaps I'll finally be able to see Hamilton. We've got the best musicals and theater in the world, and I want to be there when it's safe to do so to support the arts. Then I want to go someplace that I'm always trying to avoid as a local, Times Square. That's right, I'm going to go sit on those red bleachers, close my eyes, and just listen to the energy of the city. I just want to hear it again. While I think seeing Times Square completely empty is unique, it's also a bit depressing. I prefer it busy because it means that life has returned to normal. And it'll be fun to see the big lights again, because one thing New York is definitely lacking now is that electricity in the air. And while it felt overwhelming at times, I would love to have it back. Now it's your turn. Tell me down below in the comments, where are the first places in New York you're gonna visit when this lockdown and crisis come to an end? I am sincerely curious. And if you wanna relive all of my videos about New York City to get excited about another trip, to get excited about going out, check out my playlist, link down below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, until next time.